everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well um if you are new to my channel and you've clicked on this video because of the title and because i'm talking about social media then hello um i'd love you to stick around and hit subscribe if you're interested in mummy life lifestyle fashion beauty all sorts of different things that's kind of what you will find on my channel it's just basically the same as everyone else on social media um but hopefully i'm a bit different and we all have our own unique kind of differences um but yeah i post mummy things lifestyle fashion and beauty i post twice a week every monday and friday at 6 p.m so if you like those types of videos then i would love you to subscribe so that you don't miss another video but today i just wanted to casually just sit down and chat about social media um how it makes me feel as a person how it's kind of the be all and end all of everything now and it kind of revolves so much um and just how it can make people feel and how it can make people look and just all sorts of different things i don't really know where i'm going with this i've not got any notes i've not got any tips or anything written down or anything like that i'm just going to talk from from the heart and just talk about how it makes me feel and how i think other people feel and just things like that so i really hope you enjoy it and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do and like i said if you are new subscribe because i would love to have you on my channel so where to even start really um i started doing instagram and youtube well instagram probably about four years ago now and god I cringe we're well, looking back at the photos that i used to take and they were just like not very professional just like just take a photo and just straight away upload it which like obviously it's a nice thing to do that but I do prefer now that I've got into like photography more and taking nice pictures I do prefer the way they look compared to the old photos um, but as it all started I just used to share basically everything and that's just how I went along and it just kept growing and growing and I would just share my everyday life and um, me and the children and beauty and fashion and stuff um, and I never expected this to be my job now like it is and I wouldn't change it for the world I love doing it so much but there obviously is downsides to it and social media can make you feel so many different things like it's such a great community and I've met so many lovely women through this and families and people and just all these unique different people that have a purpose and that have created different amazing things on social media and that have made me feel happy and that have made me laugh and things like that and just shared their journey and their life so it's amazing to find people like that but it also has its downsides and there's lots of trolling and there is lots of um worrying about what people think and things like that like i had quite a lot of trolling a couple of months ago now probably i've not had anything for a while um but it's not nice and it's it can make you feel like shit and it can really put a downer on how you feel about coming on social media and sharing am i sharing too much and why are people giving me why are people giving me hate and trolling on me when they don't even know me as a person they just know me from what i post and from here and i am real and i am honest but not everybody is going to like you as a person and you can't change that even if they don't know you as a real life person people still presume and um judge you and just some people just aren't gonna like you and that's just how it is in the world and there always are going to be people out there that judge you no matter what you do no matter who you are and what you say is always going to be judged whatever you do so i kind of have got to the point now where i don't care anymore what happens or who trolls me or anything like that because they're just sat at a computer and they're just giving hate and they obviously have a really really bad life and they must be going through something really shitty to be able to sit and give somebody else grief um and make someone feel as crap as they do because they're trying to reverse it and make someone else feel shit so they don't feel shit um so it's it's sad um it's obviously some it's obviously people that don't have have a happy life and 
I don't know. It's just it's just sad that people can be like that to somebody that they don't necessarily know. They just know them through here and through social media, and they've just judged them. Um, but yeah, I try to be real and I try to be honest on social media because I feel like what is the point in pretending to be a fake person? Like, what is the point in trying to be somebody that you're not? If you and like there's a lot of there's a quote that I put on my Instagram the other day and I don't even know if I saved it actually let me see I've got so many quotes on there so a quote that I put on Instagram the other day was be who you are not who the world wants you to be because at the end of the day it's your life and if you want to post about a certain thing or post a certain thing or dress a certain way or look a certain way or anything that is up to you as a person not anybody else is you because it's your life and you've got to enjoy it and live it to the fullest you never know what's around the corner you never know what's going to happen tomorrow you never know what's going to happen with a family member or anything like that and you should just enjoy your life and you should just be happy and people should just be happy for you and yeah I'm just going off on a bit of a tangent now but social media can be really difficult because it can make you feel certain ways it can make you feel like you need to be cleaning your house all the time it make, can make you feel like you really need to have loads of money and make you feel like you need to dress really nice and have a new wardrobe every season it can make you feel like you're not good enough because you've not got these trainers or you've not got these posh boots or you don't live in a certain house or you know like all these different things it can make you feel really crap and and like <sighs> just all these different things like there's lots of women on here that do the same thing as me and I sometimes think why don't you speak to me or why don't you give me the time of day and like my photos like I like yours and I support you back and you don't support me back and you know like it really it really does annoy me things like that because when we're all especially in my kind of career what I'm doing when there's other people doing the same thing and you support that person and you have done since day dot and like they don't give you it back it's it, it does make you feel like crap and that is one thing that really does annoy me about social media and the world that it is and like people it's very clicky everyone has their own little groups and things like that and it and I try to be nice to everybody and I try to like everyone's pictures that I like and I follow people that I genuinely like I don't just follow people for the sake of it and things like that if if I like that person's content I'm gonna follow them if I enjoy what they what they put and what they say and I feel like they are a nice person then I'm gonna follow them and I'm gonna watch the videos I'm gonna like the pictures and things like that but for people to be in the same kind of industry and not even give you the time of day for I don't have a clue why because they don't know me as a person it makes me feel really crap because I think a lot of people will think I have quite a lot of confidence and that I'm quite outgoing because I do this, but I'm actually not. I'm actually quite a shy and reserved person and I feel like I'm not very good at making friends. Like, I'm a bit, I don't know. I feel like because it's really difficult once you become a mum as well to to make that friendship because becoming a mum, you feel very insecure and it changes you as a person and you forget how to, like, go out and socialise and things. Well, that, that's how I feel anyway. Um, I'm really going off on like a tangent talking so much stuff I hope this is not like just babbling to you guys I hope that it's making some kind of sense um, it's already like 10 minutes long and all I've done is talk but basically social media isn't the be all and end all it's an app at the end of the day and it shouldn't make anybody feel like like it does you know it shouldn't make you feel like you should be buying this you should be buying that and you should look like this and you should speak like that and you should um talk to people like this and that and everything like that it shouldn't make you feel like that it should be just about being happy and sharing things that you enjoy and following people that you enjoy to follow and not just jumping on the bandwagon and just trying to get in there with everyone and like i've kind of learned so much since seeing so much through doing this and I've seen like who real people are and like who genuine people are and like I've met so many lovely ladies that I, I would class as like genuine friends and I've never met them but I speak to them daily and I speak to them I like the pictures and they like my pictures and like we have a, a relationship we have a friendship and 
I think it's so lovely in that sense is social media but it also can be really draining and like I can spend hours on my phone and Steve will say you're spending far too much time on your phone um like please get off your phone please put your phone down please be with me and like I know I need to have like a certain time and I need to spend more time on an evening with Steve and put my phone down but it's so difficult when you're doing what I do to not be on my phone and also like when I upload videos and stuff sometimes I'm like like when I wanted to do when we started the Hobson's channel we started a family channel and it's like it's kind of not happened because all our weekends were revolved around just videoing and taking pictures and videoing our weekend when we wasn't actually enjoying the moment itself you know like we weren't having fun with the boys and actually being in th that moment we were just videoing it and it's not the same and I think it can be really draining and it can be really hard to kind of find that balance between real life and social media. Having a break from social media is a really good one like I'm yet to have one, I haven't had one and I feel like I do need to have one at some point just to give myself some time to, I don't know, just to be with Alfie and Woody more and be with Steve more and just not feel like my life is revolved around it because at the moment I do sometimes feel like life is kind of revolved around social media and Instagram and YouTube these days and it is really tough um, and I think when you've got a family anyway it can be really tough to find time and balance everything and stuff and look after a house keep a house clean do this and have a life and be with your children as well it is really difficult and social media can make you feel like you need to have your shit together and you need to be doing everything that everyone else is doing like when you see stuff on there and everyone's having such a great time and sometimes it's not like that and you know like the pictures may look all pretty and perfect and everyone's real happy and stuff but it's not always like that and it's not always perfect and people do fall out and people do argue and yeah I don't know what this guy I'm kind of talking about I'm just babbling on about how I feel about it and I hope that it makes some kind of sense to you and I hope I've not just bored you with my, my babbling um, but social media is what it is it's it's an app it's it shouldn't define like who you are it shouldn't let you feel like you should be somebody else you should just be you and just love your life and just enjoy it and try not to think that you need to be somebody else just because of all these other people on social media that kind of make you feel not that they're trying to do that because they're not they're just trying to create pretty pictures and pretty images they're not trying to make you feel bad but that's kind of how it can make some people feel so yeah that's how i feel about social media and i just don't want you guys to think that it's all perfect and that everything's great and things like that because it's not always and i have my down days where i feel like i don't want to post and things like that so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I've not rambled too much I don't even know where it's kind of gone but that is my views on social media and Instagram and stuff and I think we all just have to realize it's an app at the end of the day and that we all lead real lives and we've just got to be grateful and happy that our normal lives are there and we've just got to enjoy that and stop worrying too much about social media because it can be so dangerous and like it can be it can really affect people it can make people depressed and all sorts of stuff so yeah it's a tough subject to talk about i think but um if you just have a break and don't think about it too much don't make it don't make it revolve around you and your life and stuff then it can still be made fun because i think it's kind of it's kind of losing that funness about it now. It's just more like a, I don't know. It's just, it's hard. It's really, really tough on social media. But anyway, I still enjoy it. I still love posting. I love sharing my life on here with you and on Instagram and YouTube. Um, I love it. And like I said, I've made so many friends and it's such a great community and everyone supports everyone, but there is downsides to it. So I just wanted to just talk about how I feel about it. And I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've not wittered on too much and yeah I will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye guys